Good morning, good morning, folks. Mike Winkler here, and I want to take a minute and talk about Curator Network Insights. It's one of the new things that's come out here at the end of 2016, and I wanted to take a minute to discuss what it is and why you should care. So to start with, we had NetFlows, right? NetFlows are a good thing. This has always been a part of Curator since the very beginning, and this allows us to take network traffic and add context to log events, right? It's a very nice thing. So what this does for us is it tells us things that log traffic won't, things like the size of a transaction. So if I have a rule that says, um, it's fine if Jerry checks code out of the code vault because that's his job, but then if he sends a big upload up to his Google Drive, we're kind of curious about this, right? And I can tell about that big upload using NetFlows. It's also going to tell me point-to-point -point things from one desktop to another that never hit a log source like a firewall. So NetFlows have always been a very powerful piece of our technology, right? And these are some examples of what NetFlow does. And beyond NetFlow, we have what's called QFlows, and we have also had QFlows for many years. QFlow allows us to, using a hardware appliance, grab a lot of Layer 7 information that can tell us what file sharing is and social media and apps that people shouldn't be using, all of this fun stuff. Um, a great deal of the time when I set up QFlow for people, I find password and authentication errors. I find clear text passwords or scripts that have been screaming for years, this kind of thing. And it's always been a very cool tool, but it has given us an awful lot of um, network level information that isn't specifically aimed at threat, right? You can find threats with it, but that was never really the focus. Okay, but now we have what's called QNI. QNI is an appliance, like a QFlow box is an appliance, and it takes us beyond what we could do with QFlow. Um, and I'm hoping you're familiar with Sense Intelligence and everything we do in QRadar. And if you aren't, please backtrack and look at a couple of these other videos in the series or look at some of the Jose Bravo videos, which I cannot recommend highly enough. But there's 26 new custom event properties that come from NetFlow based on what we now have in this um, QRadar Creator Network Intelligence. And they become part of the offense flow, right? So everything we learn here becomes part of the core intelligence of QRadar. You don't have to write rules for this. You don't have to sit around and say, okay, I've got this data, now what do I do with it? It's automatically taking this data and it's writing um, offenses to your table for you, right? And this is some examples of it. But I can see passwords, both clear and hashed passwords. I can tell you file hashes and file names. I can tell you recipient names from the net flow. And from this information, we can do a lot of really fun things right now that we have it. Eight new rules from flows, right? 26 event properties, all well and good. Eight new rules, including show me where file hashes are moving the way around. Um, it's always been an effort stopping the zero day, right? I mean, we've had virus, virus signatures and this is good. And there's a lot of fun technology out there. But how you tell where something is bad before you know it's bad has always been that sound of one hand clapping thing. But I can spot for b patterns of behavior in NetFlow through my QNI to tell you when a file hash is doing something weird, when a specific file is jumping around multiple hosts. Okay, and we can also do essentially phishing behavior uh, and spot it in the same way by watching the behavior of files or scripts as they move through your environment, hopefully before they can cause damage. I have four new searches, okay? Once again, I don't ask you to write these. These are part of the product. You pour it in and it works. That allow you to find things like malware distribution to say, hey, can you take a look at a hash because I've determined this is a problem or might be a problem and show me everywhere it's been. And oh God, I think I have a phishing campaign going on or spear phishing going on. Can you tell me who my recipients are that are the biggest hitters on this, right? And there's four new reports to go with the flows that go with it, right? So this is a hardware uh, appliance, right? It's something that's roughly replacing QFlow or an upgrade from QFlow. And it's going to give you all of these data, all of this data and all of these properties. So you can pull data in real time from reports in your Q radar. Okay, so you'll know what's going on, hopefully before malware can do some damage. Okay, the, um, Q&I is currently in version 1.1, right? I am recording this in the last few days of 2016. And like so many of the things in our new strategy, this is all fast development in the App Store. This isn't something we're gonna improve once or twice a year. Expect this to change a lot and rapidly as we add new features and functionality to this so that you can get as much value as possible out of your Q&I. This is Mike Winkler and this has been Q&I. Thanks.